Hey guys, had to retry this thing. That thread I had was not the business. So, like I said, um, I might have to start this video over, not sure, but these I got from Pier 1, and this one right here seems to be doing okay. It's still tufted. It. This one must be, uh, <laughs> not must be, is a little on the uh, shabby side. Why? Because the tufts are gone, and I'm not sure if it's because of people sending this one more or whatever, but they're gone. So, I'm going to be putting those back in. I got some thread that can kind of camouflage into the pillow, which is like a peachy orange color. If you guys could see that oops like a peachy orange color and I have a bead that I'm going to put on the um, end of it because I figure usually when you tuft you have a uh, what do you call it I don't know what I just did guys usually when you tuft you have a, um, a button but I'm not gonna do the button so I put the bead on regularly then I'm gonna stick this back through and a circle motion so you still gonna have your loop down like that at the bottom then come back through the area past the knot like pull the knot up a little bit and then put the pin through that that way it'll have a good loop with this onto the um the end of the thread and just pull it so it's secure around that and if I was you I would do it two times so basically you're gonna go in and around this um, knot and back through the bead to get you a nice secure couple loops around the bead. Let's see if this works. I had to stop the camera and do it over a couple times and oh lord I don't knot at the thing up. Oh wait, 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 wait. I got it guys. I got it. Okay. Hopefully this is working. I done made my thread uneven somehow but anywho I'm going to go in and pull it now see that and then you're gonna pull it on this end and go back through again to that same spot try to get back in the middle where you put the thing through the first time and wait for the pin to come up come up through the, the part with the button and you just pull it securely like that and I would say go through it a couple times because you don't want to um, not have a secure tufted spot so Come back through and make sure you're going in different spots every time you go in. And if you want to, you can go in and loop through the thread by basically splitting the thread. Splitting the thread open. See, these are the hanging parts. Splitting the thread open with uh, um, the needle here and just going through that and then go down in through the pillow like so. That will create a tufted area for you. And just keep repeating this like so. And as you see, my tufting is coming back in this top corner. And you just keep doing the same thing over and over until you have all four. I'm going to finish it and then I'm going to show you what it looks like. So don't get rid of these cushions when the tufting falls out. Just go ahead and retuft them over. And I'll show you what it looks like when it's done. Hey y'all, uh, I am on the last part. I had to use miniature teeny beads to get this to tuck. Um, I'm probably going to do this over because it's not exactly what I wanted. Um, but at least it don't look like a flat, ugly pillow. Um, so, yeah. This is the one I just did. This is the one that's already done. Um, these are something that I just put up here. Yes, these are. Let me lift this camera up a little bit. My daughter just left me hanging. She's supposed to be my camera girl. Um, these are two uh, cushions. And I didn't like my bar stools to just be so um, hard when people sit on the back. So I just got these and I just flip them up. I tie them down at the bottom with the other 
ones and then I just flip it up like so and then you have a back cushion and it makes a chair. These are some chairs. Pier. I got these from Pier 1 over 10 years ago when I first moved here and they are heavy, okay? And um, just so people don't have to sit on that hard part, I just put them like that. So now both of my cushions are back tufted. Guys, do not throw these away. You can retuff your chairs. And like I just did, go ahead and retuff them. DIY, do it yourself. I had to use little buttons because when you tuff, you have to have something to pull and, and, and cause the um the the fabric to get the fabric to gather. And so I use many buttons. They're so smart you can't even see them. So um, that is what made my tufting on my pillow. So now I can put it back in the chair and they look like a match again and not look so dull and drab and this one look all tufted and nice. So that's another CPR's DIY and I will see you guys later. Remember stick to your script because you're the best at it. Love you guys.